Well, hello Malcolm, hello Sandy, hello everyone else. I just aborted an episode. <laughs> I'm going to admit to it straight up. There's the autosave from it. We're not going back. Just, no. They might do the same thing again to us this time, and if they do, then they do. But, that was, yeah. See, the thing is, we just had Vikings, right? We just had Vikings, and they broke a lot of stuff. And the game saw fit to send Vikings, like, while I was still trying to enter the episode, and they flattened this whole area before they even got started, and I was just like, you know what, I am going to try to save scum that, and see how I do with it. And I'm going to try to get a ballista up here. Uh, well, let's just get another archer in quickly. What a mess. Yeah, let's side by side them. And then we want to build that up for a ballista. Whoops! Not sure what happened there. But yeah, let's build that up. That'll kill our resources out. Uh, wood slower than stone. Hope that works out for us. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. It's not going to work out. They're just going to show up again and do the exact same damn thing. Except they'll probably do it worse. So we're just not quite sufficiently defenderated just yet. Oh, we really need to defend this manor sector really much, too. Maybe they won't come this way because there's some good heavy guns up here. Yes, yeah, it's truth. There are some decently heavy guns up here. Okay, we've had a couple people die. Uh, I don't know about enough gold for a festival, but... Oh, here they come. Yeah, they are coming. They did bring ogres. Oh, and they came here, and I had a feeling they weren't going to come here. I actually did not increase the defenses here because they just hadn't been landing here. So, probably my bad. Oh, well, this is more interesting than seeing all my new work destroyed. It's to see some of my old work destroyed. <sighs> Fooey. At least they're shooting the ogres first. Firstishly. But there's too many. There's too many. It's not going to fly. There's too many of the damn things. Oh, they're taking a pounding. But, yeah, they're already in. They're already in and working on stuff. Okay, one's down. Nice, nice. And the others are taking some hits. Two down. Good, that allows the defensive power to concentrate on that one. Oh, and that guy's getting it from two directions, so he probably won't last at all, actually. And these guys are coming up this way, and it's hard for them, too. So these little moat wall things have been pretty effective. We're actually making a pretty good mess. Out of these toads, boy, they sent a... A frickin' convoy, didn't they? Good, yeah, those moat wall things are handy. Because even though that ogre's gonna do a ton of damage, he didn't actually take out any defensives yet. And I think he's about to go down. Yeah, both of those ogres are down, so the defensives can fully concentrate on this endless stream of Vikings. Oh, there's more ogres out here, but we sank that ship with the ogre on board. Pretty sweet. I guess these are really heavy defenses out here. So anyone sailing that way is going to get pegged around. Look at this. Wow, man, this is neat. This must be what happens in the end when you have all walls, is they got nowhere to put in and they just get fried. Well, I'm loving that our defenses are getting a chance. For once, they're getting a chance. I think they're probably going to sink this one. Oh, yeah, they're going to sink that guy. He ain't going to break any bridges with it today. Oh, wow, this one's so much better. So, I guess I'm glad I saved scummed. Because this is far more spectacular and far less upsetting than what happened before. Not that I want the game to be all easy or something. I'm playing it on hard mode for a reason, but... We really got unfairly ravaged. Like, we didn't have time to rebuild what they broke last time. Love the way we're just getting to tag them all along the shoreline, eh? That's pretty sweet. Okay, let's see what's happening over here. Did we sink this feller? Well, let's see. I think we sank that feller, so the the fight's all over here now. So, Whoops, I seem to have lost track of the actual Vikings. Look for fires, look for fires. Here they come. Uh, they're debarking here-ishly. They're debarking here-ishly. Interesting. Not sure why they're debarking there. 
And I'm not sure how that's going to work out for them in the end. That's a long haul and some swimming they've set themselves up for there. They don't seem to have any more ogres. That's a big relief, but they've got plenty of Vikings. Okay, we're starting to tab a few rounds onto them. Look at them, they're swimming around. I don't think we can hit them when they're in the water somehow. I got a feeling. Okay, that's cool. Wow, defensive systems are working better than normal, but they sent way more Vikings than normal, too. Like, I think our increased population has caused us to become, sadly, even more victimized than before. They're all running this gauntlet, so that's nice. Yeah, I do have a feeling you can't hit those dudes when they're in the water. I got a, I got a sensation that that's the case. But uh, we are certainly reckon on these dudes. Reckon on them, reckon on them. Their banners are still up. But yeah, they're just running around here. They got nowhere to throw their dirty little firebombs. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee while this is going on. This is so awesome. That guy swims real good. Yeah, I don't... Oh, no, you can hit him while they're swimming. Now we know. Yeah, you can hit him while they're swimming. Oh, my gosh. This is the best we've ever done, eh? No doubt. This guy's alone. His whole boat was empty of Vikeries. Ah, oh, dudes. Yeah. You successfully defended the town, guys? Or at least, almost. I mean, they're they're almost here. But this is the manor sector that we were sworn to defend, and, uh, by golly, it looks like we defended it. Wow. We did it. Now, the ogres did a bunch of damage that needs to be immediate corrected, so get on to that. Let's check this exclamation point. Hmm. Too long to store the harvest. Good day. Good day. Okay. Well, that could be worse. So let's get these rubbles gone. So they do land over here, you know, so noted, right? Now I wonder if all that went to rubble or if some of it just disappeared. I want to make sure. I put in the same reinforcements, but I don't want to waste resources. But I do want to put in the same reinforcements because it kind of worked. Okay, we got two more here. I figured there was a bit more. Pull out that rubble. So glad you don't have to waste work cycles demolishing rubble. Please never make that mod. Pop, pop. We'll just really redoify that. Oh, no, I should have done it right when I took out the rubble. <laughs> well, let's just try to be sensible about it. Uh, what's going to be the best way, eh? I oh, definitely need one there. Why don't we go ahead and put one next to that, and why don't we go ahead and put one there? Sure. And I think we're going to need another archer tower on there, so we're going to take that. Oh, we have 100 wood, but only 25 stone. Well, that does spell archer tower right there. Let's just see. Wow, that's kind of crazy. What's going on here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I building? What am I building? What's going on? How is that a thing? Okay, take that off. Whoa, look what happened. Isn't that weird? It got misplaced somehow. So I want it there. Yeah, that seems better. This is how the archer towers are ending up getting knitted into the woodwork. Give them there. So there's at least three on that, because it's three and a ballista minimum to defeat an ogre, basically. Now we got a little more wood, so let's get over and increase the defensive power of the manor sector. Uh, we'll put a low end or a low range ballista here. And that's our wood gone, so we'll have to restart time. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they didn't burn a thing down. Food's wobbly. Food's wobbly. Be a good idea to look for a couple more places to farm, eh? Yes, it would, which is looking like if I just get out here, I can probably do that sort of thing. But I want housing out here more than I want farming, so there was some Viking rampageable area there, but it does provide space for a bloody orchard. So let's just see about that. Oh, wood's coming in fast. Oh, look, and it seeps fertile. So we'll bang in that orchard. 
call that good. I wonder if Super Mr. Grainstack is still there. Oh, yeah. He's going to, basically, we're going to have to wait for him to die of old age. Let's check him. See what he's doing here. Eh, eh. No, 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 no. Can I not click him? Ah! Max, 63 years old. Wonders what lies beyond the sea. He's a Grandmaster Archer, a grand, a Master Ballistier, and a Grandmaster of Agriculture, but he is uh, stuck. We're going to open that dragon right now. And I need to get Buddy Boy there off my screen, so I need to click something else. Oh, wow. Maybe the dragon will fall on Grain Man. Grain Man. Dragons don't have a lot of luck. Man, a master ballist here and everything. Dragons don't have a lot of luck. I think he's probably going to keep going. Oh, he's actually pulling over. That was a bad move, but we're really kind of all over you. It's the it's the ability of those low arrows to hit the high target that makes the dragons go down on a on their deathbeds here. Ah, does he splash? No, he goes thump as though the water's a table. That's cool. It makes it more like a board game, eh? That makes it more like a board game. That's cool. And he sinks away. Well, he's outy. Okay, so I wonder if the di guy can die of old age like that, or if he'll become like 900, right? Yeah, dragon sided view, that's fine. Gold is a little slow. Okay, we got enough power to increase our archery. We can increase our archery here. So, definitely grab an arch tower. Probably out of people to man them or whatever, but grab another archer tower. And we'll think about what we're going to do vis-a-vis -vis housing, roads, etc. in here. Because so we've got some good land over here that we could just farm, let the Vikings land on it. We'll just blow them away with our massive coastal defense systems. So let's just go ahead with another archer tower here. Yeah, we're going to bury them. Whoa. <laughs> They were all unmanned for a second. That's a bit strange. It's because people died out. Okay. Did we complete our manners? Yes, we did. So we deafs need more housing. With our happiness this high, I mean, people are going to stay. So let's get on the old rotary. And just we're just going to have to... Oh, what? Oh. Uh, whoops. I have to chop down that tree to get this road in. What do you know? Uh, we got a real... What the hell? Hmm. That's pretty weird. They're just flickering on and off. I guess they're just undermanned. Wish I could get rid of the notation, frankly. We just need some population. Oh, we just gained population. So that should help. So now this housing build becomes critical. Would you guys please chop this down? Oh look, they haven't even built this forester yet. Isn't that weird? I'm surprised. Uh, we also really have a lot of wood coming in, so... I'm going to close a forester even though I'm building a new one. I won't close that one. He's the royal forester. Close this guy down for now. So we got wood coming in fast enough for what we need to do. Of course, as soon as I start spending a little more, I'll probably cry. But let's get that road going on. Bunka and Bunka, and then what are we gonna do? How are we gonna set this up? Let's pause here and have a look. So really, we want to get most of that fertile land, but we want some housing that's inside the library area. So we'll go here. Here, here, here. Do that for now. Um, grab a well. Put it right there. And then we're going to get a manor in somewhere. I think we're going to have to clear some land. Let's check that library's range right now. It covers this area. So, no, we're just going to manor up. Uh, we're going to manor up. Whoops. Oh, no gold with which to pay librarians. Oops, sorry guys. Well, that's dreadful. The gold will recover, uh, no doubt. Uh, our beds aren't quite full. 
Uh, I'm waiting for Corn Man to die. Jeez. And undermanning is a problem, I guess, because we built a few more weapons, etc. So we need more housing. I wish it would stop putting those X's up. There's probably a way to turn it off. I can look it up. And we're finding a little trouble getting people to do any work at all. That's odd. This forester appears to be operating on trees. Must be another forester around here doing it. I don't understand. That's okay. I just need this done. Oh, I guess I could probably set the manor up. Well, I have given them a ton of swelge to build. Let's check that library's range again. Right there. So, let's get a manor. And bang that sucker in the middle of the library's range. Is that the front of it? SRSLY, is that the front? What have I been using as the front? I think I've been using that as the front. I hope that's the damn front. So that's what I've been using as the front. Okay, so then we can we could put anything we want in here. Happiness is pretty good. Mm hmm. Well, what's that gold? It seems to be just dropping out on us like a devil. Gold's dropping out like a devil. Oh, that's an issue. It wasn't before. What's the deal? Okay, let's watch the numbers just for a second. I don't want to have to build another treasury. Yeah, I did have to fix the damn treasuries. It looks like I need to build another treasury. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Uh, it's going to take a little while. 50 stone. Uh, could go reopen a quarry. Yeah, why not? Open that bad boy up. And it staffs right up. So, yeah, it's a pay issue on the... Uh, guns, not a manning issue, I think, that I'm being warned about. So, give me that 50 stone, kids. Give me that 50 stone and get it to me quickly. So I can go put in a stockpile somewhere first. Always have enough. Ooh, look. Is that blank? No, it's a blacksmith. That's fun. We're fun with that sort of thing. Uh, stockpile, eh? Could use another bloody granary. No doubt. You know, that's looking good for a granary right over there. That's looking good for a granary right there. Uh, let's see if we can... Now, uh, that's my laundry machine going in. That was almost my unofficial timer for this episode, because there was probably 40 minutes left on it or something when I sat down, maybe a bit less. So I thought, that's like my unofficial timer. Oh, did I just waste wood? No, and I've got my stone. I need that treasure room snippy quick. Oh, man, but... Yeah, no, I think I do. I don't think there's a choice. Yeah, it's not going to go up enough. So, in it goes. Sorry, kids. You're getting taxed more, but... Gotta pay the gunners. Gotta pay the gunners. Happiness is solid. Okay. Gotta keep those libraries protected. That's one main thing. So there was somewhere I was thinking of banging in a storeroom somewhere. Or a stockpile, rather. Hey, we super need a ballista over here. I know we can't pay them. Oh, we need 25 gold for a ballista. Ah, no! We need a ballista here really badly. As soon as 25 gold comes in, got it. Get that built. Don't worry about the future, build it now, alright? Oh, a lot of stuff is too expensive to bloody do. Terrible bull. Okay, we did get a well right there. Okay, as soon as the new treasury's up, hopefully this massive constant access will stop happening. Mm. Too long to store the harvest. Yeah. Well, as long as enough stays in stock. And you know, they can always go to Grain Man. Because his stuff never seems to go bad. So, they can always go to Grain Man. So we're going to have serious problems keeping the firing on. That sucks. And this forest is not getting built. Uh, it's one of those broken builds. It's gone. It's gone. We don't even need it. We don't even bloody need it, so it's outie. And we'll get that stockpile banged in. I haven't found the spot I was planning to put it, but I guess I didn't make much of a search. So. Hey, hey, no, no, wait, granary. 
I said if I got these trees knocked down and they didn't grow back, I'd put it in. So that's where it's going. We got enough wells in the region. Looks a bit shy on wells right around that area, doesn't it? Looks a bit shy on wells. I might just knock down this. And put a well on it if we can. We can get some more agriculture out here, but I guess we really do want a stockpile. I'll put it right there. I know it's a funny place for one, but that's where it's going to go. Maybe it'll help supply charcoal or something to the dudes. Wood. I might have to reactivate a forester. I built another forester for a reason. I was having a, a terrible time getting wood going. But okay, yeah, it's definitely not a staffing problem. It's a money problem. Let's check our tax rate and make sure we haven't goofed ourselves or something. No, we're cranking it out of them as hard as we can. <laughs> Sad that. Okay, you better be able to build that and not cone up the build, guys, because we really need that money. We're not regening. Although we did get up to 25 to build a ballista, thank gosh. I really needed that ballista. And they get built, they get built, so good enough. And yeah, we'll just leave that forested area for future possible foresting. We won't touch it. And if we've gotten that barren cleared, we're going to put a well in right away right there. Always have enough. Yeah, okay, that's that's good and stuff. Harvest just came in. Let's watch food bump around. Corn man feeding the town with just one hand. Feeding the town with no hands or arms. How do he stack all that stuff? He just tucks his shoulder under it and then flicks. He's like, everyone here was born without arms. It's just the human race mutated to a, a semi-aquatic species here. That's, you, you know, you see there's very little land. So this is, uh, this is the readaptation to the land of the human species. But they haven't redeveloped arms yet. So they just have to make stuff with their mouths. And carry loads by tucking stuff under their shoulders. Please build my treasury. Oh god, this gold problem could get us killed. Because those guys won't fire, right? Seven wood left. Great, that's coming, that's coming. Good, good. Really, oh, I was going to say we really need another granary. Just built one, so that's a start. Did they get it done? Granaries should be faster. Almost. They don't seem to muff too many builds, but that Forester build, I think, was broken. Mm, boy, we could definitely use another archery tower out here, but I think it's good enough to hold. We'll just get some castle blocks going here. Get one in there. Get one in there. Try to protect things a bit. Make it harder for them to get. As much as we can. Let's see about doing that a bit over here. Maybe the whole joining hands thing should start happening. Yeah, maybe we'll start with actually two blocks on barren land right there. And we'll build that into a secondary defense unit, actually. So we'll raise this part up. And we'll leave one low, one high. We'll have a low high defense unit for the entrance to the manor area. I like it, I like it. Did they get the treasury built? It looks like they did. That should probably stabilize our gold, I guess. As a population, beds are pretty much full. Yikes on toast. So now we can only pray that the money somehow stabilizes, right? Yeah, our granary went up. Nice. We can just pray that the money somehow stabilizes. We can't afford to build or pay any more defenses, so I guess it's getting agrarian time so let's build some road out here or pop 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 we'll build another well out here and we'll build it I don't know hereishly well hang on check that library's range whoop oh, whoop oh, whoop oh, there okay so we can do housing right there uh, so we will we will. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put an orchard here. Because that's beautiful. And then we're going to go ahead and put a cottage as soon as we've got one. 
should be pretty shortly. Maybe we'll have to build that other forester after all. So there we go with a cottage. And if that doesn't give him road access, that's rough living for ya. And we're going to defend him with a castle block when we get our hands on one as well. So right there. Oh, no, no, no. My mistake. Oh, oh, Got to get off it now. Gotta select something else, then you can reselect it. Okay, yeah, pop that off. What we actually wanted was to waste farmland on a castle block. Why not? And then we've got a baron over here that we could put further whatever defenses or something housing whatever on. And then we could probably farm this whole patch out without expanding the road further, I'm guessing, eh? It's a pretty nice patch. I wonder if there's any way to convert barren land to fertile land. Interesting question. We would also need another granary out here. I should keep the option of... Oh put the well in the wrong place because oh no because I can bring the road here I can bring the road out behind here so actually that well's okay okay cool so I think I will bring that road out behind here and we'll start working on even another neighborhood even while we can't pay for the one we've got eh? but we'll start bringing the road out there look it's all bare and beautiful so it may be that we'll get some housing in out there or some at we're still having a problem keeping any gold in the place, eh? Dang! Yeah, no kidding, it's the crack of doom. Even with another treasury running, eh? Really too bad. Oh, I think this treasury's broken, you know. I have a feeling this particular treasury is broken, and we're gonna remove it. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna take it out. And I think we're going to take out that cottage in a second. So let's just see what happens. Does that change our gold? No, it doesn't. Our gold stayed the same or even improved. Which doesn't mean that we have any. Uh, I want that cottage out of there. It's now offending my eyes. It's probably the oldest cottage in town. Let's see if we can't replace it. Oh yeah, we can. We just almost have a manor finished, right? Yeah, we almost have a manor finished, so we are going to render homeless people in this cottage right now. Bye! You're going to have to go live somewhere else, and this well is outy. And then we need to refix all that up somehow, so... <laughs> There's... yeah, okay. So we do need a well with road access here. And I don't know what else. Like, we've got this really ill structured essentially. We've got this really ill structured. So I think we're going to put the counting houses along here. Right, like this. So rotate it so the damn door faces outwards. Hang on, how does it give it to you? It gives it to you that way. That can't be right, because there's a dude that stands on it there, so... I'm putting them this way, you know? Oh, that costs 50 wood, does it? Well, that's going in there, and we'll see if it w Actually, yeah. I'll take it out. We have five fully active open treasure houses, which are not properly facing the same directions. And that's just soups annoying. Um, we really need to redo this sector. I like them all facing inwards, so we are gonna... We're gonna have four facing inwards like that with their chimneys on the back, and we're gonna take this bad boy out. This may give us a problem here. This may give us a problem, but I didn't like the way this was all going, so we are going to go ahead and just change it up a little bit here. Now, I really want to know how big the barracks is. It looks pretty big. It looks bigger than the Chamber of War, so 
It's going to involve hauling out. Uh, nobody's so fit to stay while well, the place is full until that manor goes up. It'll mean hauling out all this farming right here, basically. So, yeah. And now gold's completely broken. So, I might just do this complete. It looks like I'm getting enough stuff, so we're just going to knock this all out. I'll leave time on so I keep building up stuff. So I'm going to need a lot of stuff. But uh, we're clearing the castle zone out. So we'll leave one little old farm there or something. We're clearing the castle zone out. Really hope the Vikings don't show this very second. And let's see if we've got enough for a chamber of war now. Barracks. Now you need 50 bloody gold to build it. So that's our space for our barracks. And now we're going to have to demolish the Chamber of War. Can we build a new one? No, it takes 75 gold. We can't do it. We cannot demolish this without fixing our treasure houses properly. Interesting times indeed, eh? So, yeah. Well, that's annoying. Those treasure houses function, but they have no. That does the middle one function? Like, yeah, does it actually work? Uh, I just don't even know. I just don't even know. Well, we're just gonna have to add two treasure houses. So, which is the bloody entrance of the thing? You know. That's the problem I'm having, is identifying what the damn entrance is. I'm going to go for door facing this. No, that's where I want my barracks to be, so... I really want to move my stupid chamber of war, which is really in the wrong place, but... Actually, I think what I can do is go door facing here, door facing here. Well, let's just start with one. And then let's take a piece of road and bring it up to the Ministry of War just for the look of it. And then let's put a well in between those. No, we want this open for the look of it. So we'll try ourselves out on one more treasure chamber because actually we seem to be functioning gold-wise. I think we're functioning. I'm not sure why really don't understand anything that's happening but suddenly we have gold so just gonna build that one more treasure room and call it a day oh no we don't have gold but it for a second it was better right kind of strange well I guess we had that happen before um, we did have that happen before okay well how much gold does it talk cost to build an archer tower 20, eh? And we keep flashing in and out of having 20. Interesting stuff. And then we're zero again. Just zero again. I don't understand it. Too long to store harvest. Yeah, we have an issue there, eh? And do we have any builders on this? Yeah, we got five builders on it. That's great. That's great, and I kind of wanted a well in the area, but I guess we're going to have to do with the wells that are around. Let's check their well radius. No, it's very poor. We need a well for this zone. Which means kind of either demolir this quarry, which we could do. Yeah, we could demolate that quarry and open a different one. I think I'll do that. And we'll put that, yeah, we're going to go ahead and blow that out because we haven't needed that many quarries. So we'll put the well there, and we'll go open another quarry. We had more quarries than we needed. Where are the other bloody quarries? There's the hospital. There we are. Yep, zoom in, and there we go. Open that little guy. Perfect. The Vikings are going to show so shortly, eh? Okay, well, the way gold's rolling, I think we're going to end up with enough if we just build that one more treasure room. And that'll be fine. We'll just keep it at that. 
And people are happy, so I'm not going to blow any on a festival. I'm just going to try to keep rolling here. And they're getting this stuff built. They're getting this stuff built. I need more archery around here, so we are going to have to go ahead and do it, even though we don't have the moolah. But we need more archery around here. And frankly, more protection for said archers. So we'll chop down this tree set. Hey, did we chop down these trees? Oh yeah, we did. So we're going to extend the road out into there. Just go that far for now. Not sure what we're going to do at the end of that road. We've still got that spot for a forester just waiting to be used, so that's no problem. Please get that treasure chamber finished. I'm having problems with the treasure chamber functionality. I guess I'm just not experienced enough with how to use buildings in this game, you know? Okay, it's up, so there should be gold. Yeah, it's got workers. It's got a guard at the door. They've all got workers and guards at the door. So, we'll see how that goes. I don't really want to build more treasure chambers. Like, isn't five enough? Okay, beds are full. Not quite, but almost. And work goes on. Got that treasure chamber finished a lot faster than this. Restart it. Restart it. Or even just leave it alone. Even just leave it alone. Okay, so pay problems are completely endemic. Are we glitching when we hit five treasure chambers? What's going on? That's definitely a dragon. I can hear it. Where's my, yeah, where's my dragon sighted warning? You guys are a little slow. So are they going to shoot? Or are we going to have like massively reduced capabilities because of the money thing? I think we have massively reduced capabilities. Yeah. Damn. Crazy and stupendous. And when I took out that other treasure chamber, it worked again. So I'm taking it out again, and we're just doing the experiment over again. Whoa, no, not that. Not right now. So now we'll demolish that out. And we'll see if the gold goes up faster, because... Yeah, instantly. So, weird. I'm running into a freaking glitch at five treasure chambers. Maybe it's overtaxing them and they won't pay. That's possible. Uh, we're still having rather reduced defense performance here. He's down. Uh, he's going to break something, eh? Boom! A whole orchard. What a jerk. What a jerk. Okay, and we're s so I don't understand the gold thing at all. But obviously my defenses are just gonna fail if they don't get paid. But look, now I got more gold. Now I got more gold. Huh. Hmm. We got him, sire. Dragons are some no match for our might, and apparently we're no match for our peasants' ability to not pay their taxes because we're now getting more money on four treasure chambers than we were. That's really odd. So, I guess we're not building any more of those. We really want a barracks. Uh, what do you want, guys? Mm -hmm. Perhaps we should raise taxes at a treasure room. Perhaps I can't. It's three or zero. Okay. Perhaps we should raise taxes at a treasure room. I wanted to, but I can't get any gold that way because they stopped giving me any. Now we're down to zero again. Seems like we were doing better with four than we were doing with five, though, so that is just bizarre. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll have to do some offline monitoring of the situation. But it'd be nice if we could get enough gold to uh, actually build something. Uh, more population is probably key. Probably key. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. They like me. 
That's great. I want more of them around to pay me. So they can like me all they want, but I can't even afford to throw a festival for them because there aren't enough of the little demons. So we're going to build another library. Oh, and they cost, of course. Bit of an issue with libraries there is that they uh, cost to build and cost to maintain. So, bit of a frickin' annoyance because I can't keep any gold in me pocket. That's okay, we're gonna work it out. And we can put a castle block right in here. A little bit of extra defensiveness. Help things out. Help things out. Help things out. Hopefully, we can give them a real romper. Uh, you know, I think I need to close some foresters and stone cutters. I would like to... Oh, it costs gold to build an archer tower. I was going to say, I'd like to move that archer tower. Why are these people swimming? What in the name of all greatness are these freaks doing out there? Swimming. Okay. non comprehends. can't click them. What are they doing? They're walking through this pier. I have no idea what their operative plan of action is or how they're getting through there. But a bunch of weirdos, man. Seriously. So housing out here but also a library. Look, gold's building up. We you know, eh? Maybe if the peasants are happier you get more taxes in? That's entirely possible. Let's check that library's radius. Man, they, they do not have much bloody radius, those libraries. So where are we going to tuck in our next library? Well, over here. I'll chop that up. Now yeah, we'll put our next library in over there, or possibly over here, but then it'll just get burned. It needs to be tucked into some fortifications. Let's castle block up here. And as soon as available, we'll castle block up there, and we should probably... It's a waste of space. We're putting a manor there. We're putting a manor there, and we're putting a manor there now, actually. They're going to need to get access to a church or library, however, so... I'm going to tuck that right in here and hope they build it faster. Okay, gold drops out really bad, but I think it's better with just four on, so that's really strange. And adding a library is actually going to cost me how much? How much? How much? Let's see. 12 gold per year. Okay, well, that's pretty well unsustainable. Actually, that's pretty well unsustainable. Terrified of catching the plague. Oh, this is annoying. And I've used up half its radius with defensives. Well, you know... Darn! <laughs> I'm not sure how to figure this out. I'm going to put a... Um, small greenery in over here, I think. That in there. And we better get a well in pretty quickly, too. Uh, okay, we'll have the road change direction there, so we'll put a well at the end of the bloody road, I guess. Yeah, why not? The Vikings can burn the well. And we're going to go ahead and build a library as soon as we get the 30 gold for it, eh? Interesting. Oh, I almost caught it. I got it. Ha! Got your nose. Little devils. Okay, and now we'll do some bricking around Mr. Library, eh? Yeah, why not? We'll do some proper bricking around Mr. Library. Give them something to think about when they come knocking at the library stores. When they come knocking at the library stores. It's having too many guns, I guess. If I blew some out, I'd be better off. Mm. I can tax them with the treasure room and grow the royal coffers. How nice to know that. I just want to scream. <laughs> okay, well, where could I put one? Does it have to be connected to anything? Can I knock this farm out and put one in? 
The demo leader to the farm. There goes some very fertile land, but we're gonna put them chimbly to chimbly. Chimbly to chimbly, and that better work, right? That better work. And then if I build my barracks, is it gonna block access to my treasure rooms? I could lose my mind. Okay, that better bring in more gold. Maybe I should build more of them. Or whatever. How's the crop? A little low. Eliminating that central cropland. A bit of a rough brisket to do to them. And that's some fine cropland too. And we got plague all over the place. There go the plague doctors. Let them go. And there goes my phone. I will have to let the machine take that while we watch our plague doctors. And then I'll go deal with the message. After, we'll just take a close look at everyone going about their business. Yeah, I guess we need more plague doctors, eh? They just need to touch him to make him all fixed eat. Good plague doctors. Nice job, guys. Uh, yeah, there's my phone. Hmm. Too long to store the harvest, improve conditions. What? Oh, happiness went down to 50. No can fix. <sighs> okay. And. Um, I totally lost track of what I was doing because uh, half my brain was listening to the machine. Devil take it. Uh, forget where I was, what I was doing. I want this place safe. We can't build any more weaponry. No money. Okay, so now now the gold's staying at zero. Does that mean my new treasure room is up? No. So oh, I hope it works. 49 peasants died of plague. That's not going to help the tax situation any. That much is for sure. And I can't afford to throw a festival. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, and happiness is 44. I really hope that new treasure room works. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I really hope that new treasure room actually activates and works. Gosh, a Louie. Where is it? I'm trying to. There. Waiting for three wood. Please don't hang this build on me. Oh yeah, what if the builder died of plague? Nice, wonderful. You know it could happen, right? Oh no, it's up. It's up and running. Mm. Peasants are miserable, make sure they're fed. Oh, I almost had enough for a festival. Second we have enough for a festival, we're soups wasting it on a festival. Here we are. Festival. Pow, have a festival. Looks like the new treasury might be working anyway. So, and the crops came in, so they're, they're not going to starve. We could use a new town square, I guess. Where's the other one? It's over here. Uh, I think the new treasure room kind of worked. Maybe. Well, we saw 25 for a second anyway. Bloody awful. Uh, the happiness is at 28 and we have no gold. Are you serious? Well, we'll get some new peasants from the festival, I guess. Let's hope. A lot of people dying of old age. Nobody's getting paid. This is bad news, eh? Oh, the money almost came back in for a little second. Oh, God. So I don't think this new treasure room's broken. I think this one's working, so... I'm expecting it's something to do with placement. It's something to do with placement. So, what can we do? Well, it looks like this one works, so we're going to do another one just like it. And we're going to whoop, 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 put her like that. I think. Shabamf. Is there room for a well there? No. Yeah, we just need the money. We just need the money, so we do need a central well in this area. Oh, we've got one here. It's this zone that's not really covered by a well, so we can put one over in this area. 
Well, isn't that neat? Look at the little signpost that's happened. I love it. Hey, they've all sprouted signposts. I, like, pretty much double love it. I have no idea what we're going to do with our barracks because I need to put a well where it is. I'm going to take out this farm. Pop and put a well where it was. That's what I'm going to do. And we better look to our agriculture because the numbers haven't been looking that good and we've really ripped off a big chunk of farmland and destroyed it. So let's get out over here and get some farms in where we can. Oh, God, eh? I.e. not very many. But, yeah, we'll get three farms in there. Oh, we can get one in there. Nice. Okay, we'll do that. I don't know why these people are swimming back and forth between these areas. That's a complete unknown. And our treasure situation is a disaster. Happiness is up to 57, 58. And people are okay. Food is really wobbly. Really wobbly. Oh, you know, I could have put a well right there. This doesn't look right. And this is kind of the castle block now. Because so we can farm here. Yeah, because the road leads up to the thingy, so we can put a couple of farms in here. So little backup farms in there. I don't like that. It says Peter has died of old age there. I don't like that. He's not supposed to die. Speaking of people who do spo are supposed to die of old age, household grain handler. Let's take a look around and see if we can find him. I think grain handler might be gone. And I'm pretty sure we're due for Vikings about now, so I should probably end the episode, really. This gold problem's appalling. Mm. Too long to store the harvest. This gold problem's appalling. We just can't keep a dime in the place. None saw fit to stay. Well, most of the beds are full. So they can just not see fit to stay then. That's their prerogative. Uh, I wonder if we have any libraries we could get rid of. That's a good question. Probably not. Besides, they're all massive happiness boosticators. We've got a manor going up here and a library going up here. Okay. Oh, and we got the land cleared to protect that library a little more, so we're going to do that. Or, uh, brick it in. Try to keep it safe. Make the ogres take a long time to get to it. Probably makes it hard for us to shoot them, but until money stabilizes, which it looks like it might be doing. It always looks like that, and then it's gone again, though. Until money stabilizes, we're going to have to uh, not worry about it. Look, that's almost done. It's almost done. I hope they're able to finish it. I hope the farms aren't blocking bloody access. But it looks like they like to access it through the side. It's up and running. Pa -do 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 -do. Uh, come on. Ka-ching. Tax rate 3 gold. Okay, that should hopefully stabilize money. So, on that note, I'm going to zoom out. There we are. A bustling little town. Here's our new neighborhood. Uh, probably not well defended enough, but we're going to work on it if we end up with more money. And we will see you guys all soon for the next episode. So, here we are at a manor under construction. Oh, it's hard to get in here. And here's some townishness. It's all a bit of a mess, frankly. It's all a bit of a mess. If it was Lego, I'd tidy it up. But these people have to work to tidy things up. There's a forester with three trees to work with. There's a charming rural library sitting. Defended by some fairly heavy stuff. Thank goodness. That one hasn't gotten burned for two raids, I think. Anyway, guys, hope you had fun here today. I certainly did. Stockpiles are full. We need soldiers. And we'll see you all very soon for the next episode. So until that time, bye for now.